I just kind of want to show what it looks like going up in the roof. Yeah. And how good it's expanding and coming everything. He'll come back over, like I say, and fill in there from some, some little spot. Yeah. So you need to, and he, he'll go back over Yeah. What's going on in the attic? As you can see, the minute you open the door, you can tell where they foamed already. All of this has been foamed all the way down. And of course, it is a little bit cooler day today when we do have got some rain from that tropical storm that came in off the coast of, I don't know, Florida maybe. But there's already a huge difference in the temperature up here from what it used to be. But as you can see, they have foamed. They still have the high pitch to foam. Um, they cannot foam today because of the rain. Something to do with the humidity. This stuff does not work. Um, it doesn't expand the correct way with the humidity. So we are completely stopped until Monday of next week. And today is Thursday. They did all of the work that you can see in this video they did yesterday. But they still have the high pitch to do. Um, they have to bring certain ladders in for that. But... Um, all on the other side of the house is done except for the high pitches and it already looks so different up here it may sound strange but it brightened the place up a lot maybe need to get Josh to hang me a lot maybe on that pole right there in the center to get some more light up here but um like I say, let's look and see. This thing has gotten up to be as much as 120 degrees. Now look, we're sitting um, a lot lower. But of course, not as hot a day today as it has been being. So it might be next summer before we see the true test of what this stuff does. But um, so far, just trying to get it sprayed in. I'm hoping that once we get this done, some of this um, loose can come out and we will be able to put down some more flooring. Although I don't want to just junk up the attic just because I have an attic. I would like to keep it neat and organized. But this is the part that in a couple of videos ago, you saw Josh put the um, cardboard so that they could foam down it. And of course they did. They left a few of their items up here, some masks and gloves, things like that. But You can still hear the rain and hear it raining right now. But this is what it's looking like so far. Okay, so today we finished up the job. I'll show you what happened here. You can see the insulation all on the right side of our crawl space and the left side of our crawl space. And we'll duck in here and walk inside and show you the rest. Oh. <sighs> This is done. If you guys remember in the last video, they still had to do the high sides and the portions in the far side. Now, one thing about this being uh, insulated is it's sound dampening too. So just me talking in here, I can tell that it's insulated really well because my, my vocals do not echo in the room. Um, Looking around here, you can see how they've insulated everything. They even climbed up into there and got some space as far as they could get above his room. Um, uh, there's, there's no point in showing you the other side because they don't have a light over there. But that entire walkway on that side of the room looks just like the walkway on this side of the room. So all that is now done. Um, right now our temperature gauge a little misleading it says it's above 80 degrees mainly because uh, when they spray it does cause a chemical reaction so it is a little bit warmer right now than it will be um, but that's okay it's not a big deal it will cool down we are having some cooler temperatures right now which does help too but um this is done we got up here with the shop vac and started to clean up and realized that the shop vac was not the way to go if we're going to keep this insulation we decided we we're just going to push it back over in the spots where we're not using it. So that's what we did. Um, but yeah, 
this is done and I'm happy. Um, there was an unfortunate event where someone from the crew stepped in this spot and made a hole under or made a, a little spot underneath. Um, the guy's coming to fix it tomorrow. So we're going to pay him whenever it's done and everything's perfect. Um, it's not that hard of a fix. It's just something to tidy up. But this little bit of light over here, this is from the front of the house. There's an air vent. Uh, that's just the, the air or the light you see coming through that air vent. And uh, that's it. Done and done. Um, I did install a little handle right here for us to hold on to whenever we're stepping down. This is actually built for stacking stuff in your garage. But I'm multi-purposing it as an handrail um, for getting in and out of here. Uh, I will be starting on the project to put a door here and obviously some more flooring. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to change this support. I'm going to move it. That way we have a direct access walkway through here. And, uh, and that'll be good to go. So... Very nice. Just kind of wanted to show off the end result. Thanks to everybody watching. If it's anybody local uh, in the Florence area, Florence, South Carolina area, uh, the company we used is A to Z Insulation, and they are out of is it Scranton, I do believe. Um, I'll put up their information here or at the end. I'll just I'll put I'll tag them in it. Uh, if anybody wants to get this kind of work done, please look them up. Uh, Tony and his crew are very professional, and they did a great job. So, thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.